Good day. RCD analysis on singly reinforced rectangular beam. So as you can see, this is an investigation problem. Okay, unlike sa uh, previous topic natin that is a design problem, whereas ibibigay yung moment, then all we need to know or all we need to calculate or to design is the area of the steel bars or the number of steel bars. Uh, here, ibibigay yung bakal, then we will calculate its capacity huh? or design moment capacity. Okay, so to do that, uh, this is our stress diagram. Okay, of course, ito yung um, uniformly distributive stress for concrete. This is the tension of the steel bars and this will result to a compressive force C and these two will be separated by distance d minus a over 2 then ito yung nominal moment capacity that is just force times distance as we all know now first things first is to determine the beta 1 beta 1 here is 0.85 since our fc prime did not exceed 28 mpa then we'll calculate the area of the steel bar and we have here 525 mm diameter tension bars. Okay, so in this case, uh, we will be assuming that yung mga bakal dito is evenly arranged or uh, uh, ma makakasya siya sa ating beam. Okay, because this is um, analysis lang. Um, I'm explaining here to you the uh, principle. Okay, so first na gagawin natin dito is always to locate the neutral axis in concrete no? locate the neutral axis or uh, maybe yung A yung una nating makukuha A or yung C, yung maliit na C ok, yan yung pinaka unang gagawin natin in analysis and that can be solved by equating the forces compression and tension no? compression is equals to tension and we all know that the compression is 0.85 FC prime times the area of the concrete block. Then, the tension is ASFS muna. Hindi ito FY. No? Now, uh, we don't have the value of FS pa. Then, we will assume steel yields first. Kung baga, unang mag-yield yung ating steel than the concrete. So, that will happen if yung FS natin or actual stress on the steel uh, will exceed FY. Okay? That will happen if this is the case. Now, using this equation above, that will be like that. No? Substitute. And, of course, A is uh, unknown. Uh, we have B. Then, AS is this one. Then, FS natin since we assume that yung actual fs natin will exceed fy then sa strength design which is this one ito yung strength natin we will just use fs as fy okay we will just use fs as fy because as i have um, explained on our previous lecture um, hindi pwedeng gamitin sa strength na lumagpas sa ating yielding stress capacity okay now from here we can calculate the a that is the value then um calculate natin yung c by uh, this relationship na a over beta 1 and substitute uh, we have 186 millimeters now after we calculated our c we will check if the assumption is correct Okay, this is our assumption. So, i-calculate natin yung actual stress ng ating steel, that is Fs, by using this formula. Okay, so substitute, we have the values here, we have the effective depth, we have the C, then we have the value of actual Fs. Then, i-compare natin siya sa ating assumption. As you can see, that is greater than our Fy, which is 345 MPa. That means, this assumption is okay or satisfied. Okay? Now, we can proceed to our solution if this is correct. Okay, so, um, 
On this one, i-check natin yung region muna. Ano yung region? Okay, comparing the FSFY at yung 1000 MPA. If you remember sa ating uh, previous video. Okay? Yung my transition controlled, compression controlled, and uh, tension controlled. From this case, FS is in between FY and 1000 MPA. That means this is in transition region. Yung hindi constant ang ating um, reduction factor. No? Or linya yung change. So, um, our reduction factor here um, can be solved using this formula. Okay, please recall yung um, una nating mga lectures. Okay, so this one represents the actual stress, no? which is ito. Okay, substitute. That will be this uh, the value of our reduction factor. Ito yung FS natin. Actual. FY is 3, 4, 5. After we have our reduction factor, then we can calculate our nominal moment here. No? So the nominal moment, pwedeng mag-moment tayo about C or mag-moment about T. Well, in this case, ang gagawin ko is mag-moment ako, ako about the compression. Okay? Pwede rin. The same lang yan. The same answer lang yung lalabas. Okay? So, substitute. T is ASFY. Na. Dito. Since lumagpas nga yung ating actual stress sa uh, yielding. Na? Ito, ito is uh, design strength man to. So, ASFY D minus A over 2. Okay, and we have the value of mn. Now, take note, yung hinahanap is the design moment that should be phi mn. So, phi here is that one. mn is that one. Multiply mo lang. This is our answer. Okay. Okay, another situation. Um, gagawin ko tong 9 mm. This one. I mean 9 bars. Okay. So, the same uh, procedure. Okay, so the AS will be this one, 4418 mm squared approximately. Then again, unang-unang gagawin is malocate yung um, neutral axis C or kahit yung A yung unang makuha. Ah, pwede lang yan kasi we have relationship na the beta 1 C. Okay, so that can be solved by equating again this one and ito pa rin yan. And Assume pa rin na still yields first. This is the case. Okay? The same um, equation, ang yung nagbago is yung AS lang. And we can calculate our A. Then, we can calculate our C by this relationship. And that is the value of C. Then, before we proceed, after we calculate our C, e-check natin yung assumption natin by calculating the FS. And substitute, we have again those uh, values. Then, we have our FS here. Then, i-compare natin siya sa FY. Now, as you can see, uh, FS is lesser than our FY, which is hindi tugma sa ating assumption. Okay, we assume that FS should be greater than our FY. Then, that is not okay. If mali yung assumption natin dito, then this whole solution here is mali. Disregard natin yan lahat. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, balik ta rin natin yung assumption natin. This one. Assume still doesn't yield na. Okay? Yung concrete na yung magi-yield una. So, that will happen if our FS did not exceed FY. And we'll use this formula as our FS. Ipa-plug in natin to sa equation natin. Okay? So, using this equation, um, our A here can be expressed as beta 1C. That one. Okay? Then, our FS here is expressed into that one. So, C yung una nating makukuha in this case. Okay? So, do the calculator. We have the value of our C. Okay, then i-calculate natin yung beta, I mean yung A, uh, that is beta 1C, um, that is the value. Okay, now, um, from this one, uh, we are sure na na this 
one will be uh, correct. Yung assumption natin dito is correct na because yung first assumption, hindi naman siya nagtugma. So, this one is correct na talaga. But, ipapakita pa rin natin. E-check yung assumption. Pakita lang natin para masatisfy yung uh, uh, mga kokote nyo. Okay? Okay, so, checking our actual FS and magagamit naman natin yung FS dito. So, this is the value. And as you can see, that did not exceed our FY. That is 345 MPA. Meaning, okay na yung assumption natin. After na ma-okay yung assumption natin or uh, ma-prove natin na correct siya, then we can proceed na. We can calculate our MN mamaya. So, check the region. So, in this case, FS did not exceed FY. So, recall, uh, if this is um, the scenario, that should be in compression control. Okay? That means, reduction factor is automatically 0 0.65. Okay? Then, calculating the MN, um, the same, T is equal, uh, T multiplied by D minus A over 2, the moment arm, then substitute. Our T here is ASFS. Now, FS na yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay? Because yung FS natin, yung actual stress, hindi naman lumagpas sa yield strength. That means, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Kanina, lumagpas siya sa, at, sa ating FY. Then, FY lang yung gagamitin natin. Yung yielding strength lang. In this case, hindi siya lumagpas. Then, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay, not one. So, we have the value of our MN. Then, the design uh, moment capacity is VMN. That is the value.